All right, so I had a lot of question with what build I was using yesterday. It's just a big glass cannon DPS build. I would say like best damage build in the game. At least I'm going to tell you as far as all the information I have right now, what is the best yeah, damage build. So this is not it actually. <laughs> Let's just equip it here. Glass cannon, there we go. So to do a damage build now, it's pretty straightforward with gear 2.0. You want to just have weapon damage and critical hit chance and critical hit damage everywhere. And if you watched my video yesterday or today, actually, I'm not sure when it's up. The best gun in the game right now is uh, Negev. So make sure to get that one. It's an over-tuned LMG right now, similar to MG5. And it's just insane. For damage challenge, just pure damage, I use strength, which is 50 critical hit damage when you shoot for around 3 seconds. And I mod that with critical hit chance everywhere. And mag with 50 rounds. If you have the knee pads like I have, you could go something else if you feel like. But obviously mag size is king. Okay, so <clears throat> as I said, named items is something that you definitely want to build around. So there's actually three of those that are super good for damage builds. I only have one of them though, which is the glove. So it's contractor's gloves. And the thing with named items now, they have either a perfect talent or they can have a minor attribute that's really good. For example, this one have damage to armor, which you can't get as a minor attribute. But yeah, that's the thing with the, this glove, right? So you definitely want to have this one. And it's also Petro, so you get the LMG damage. Then for the knee pads, you want to have Fox Prayers. Shout out to my clan teammates here that uh, linked them to me. Which is a named overlord knee pad that have damage to target out of cover as a minor attribute. And then there's also a mask called the hollow man. Which have damage to health as a minor attribute. So those two and the glove I showed are definitely key if you want to do the best uh, damage glove, right? And I guess we have solid in the chat too. <laughs> are you making a video on all the named items? No, but I'm making a build video. Gift sacrifice, we're getting to that soon as well. And then, oh, also, I guess good that the solid linked it or said it in chat. Also, the chest piece for glass cannon, perfect glass cannon, is Providence. So that's four named that you actually want to have. I will show you in a bit though how to set up a similar build super easy. And it's actually not hard to farm for. But just to have the best one out, that would be it. So I miss two of those pieces, but we can go through mine, what I have right now, so... I do have the a Providence Mask here, crit chance, crit damage is what you want to have. Make sure you get like 60 crit chance or close to it, then rest in crit damage. Weapon damage. So I have 3 piece Providence, you get crit chance, crit damage, and that's what you want to go. Like basically, as I said earlier, weapon damage and crit is key for damage. So here I have crit chance, crit damage, weapon damage. Just what you want to max out here. The mod slot here. But you can tell my pieces are not the best. I have a lot of farming to do. I mainly use farm for storage. Weapon damage, created chance, created damage there as well. Providence. You don't need to go 3-piece Providence. You can actually go the new gear set 2. Uh, this one actually. The Grupo. Because that have critical hit damage as well. If you like crit chance, you go uh, the Seska one, right? So backpack, I use concussion talent. If you want to go for the max damage, you want to put vigilance. So that's the option. This one, right? 25 weapon damage. Because it increased the weapon damage by 25 if you don't take damage. But if you're taking damage, something like concussion is good to have. If you get a headshot kill, you get 15 weapon damage for 10 seconds. And also, when you hit a headshot, you get 10%. So this is a bit easier to, to get, right? And then I have the Petro gloves here. Contractor's gloves that I showed. Weapon damage, damage to armor. I would like to have... I actually have a pair. Other pair because you could buy this in the vendor. So these are probably the one I want to use. So screw the weapon handling and we go critical hit damage instead. And then I use the exotic knee pads that I also should have a video out before this video. Which have weapon damage, critical hit chance and critical hit damage. So that's what I'm using right now. I kind of want to go through a bit of uh, talent choices. If you don't want to go super glass cannon, you can skip glass cannon. And there is options like uh, Obliterate, for example. Since we have a crit chance build, Obliterate is a pretty safe bet. You will get 15 uh, weapon damage out of that. 
which is not bad. Something else that's pretty fun to play, but I haven't been able to test too much because I only have it at a level 30 piece, is Intimidate. So you get 35 weapon damage, which is amplified, which means multiplicative to enemies within 10 meters. But you need to have bonus armor. But you could use Intimidate and you use it with Bloodsucker. So pretty good if you're actually doing solo content. I was doing this earlier. Maybe I show that footage later in the video. But Bloodsucker with that. And you just kill and you get bonus armor. And you get intimidated up a lot. Almost all the time. But you have to be close to 10 meters though. But that's the chest talents I would go with. Sure you could go spotter as well. But I personally wouldn't do that. Because I don't think you want to play technician. And check the specialization later. I don't think that's too important. But... But just to say, like, Gunner is a good one to go for because of... I mean, armor kit is decent. Fast reload is nice. Getting 10% armor on kill, it's nice. Standing still, you get more weapon handling. Really good. Also rate of fire on kill. So there's a lot of nice stuff there. And actually, they did buff the specialization weapon as well. So that's really good. And of course, the 50 mag for LMG. And I know this video is not too structured, it's a one take, because I don't have too much time to grind the game and make videos, but I know you guys really want to have the videos here. A pistol, perfect finisher, it's only level 30, I need a 41. And I just use a sniper. And then we go to backpack talent. Uh, concussion is a really good one. A VG as well, as I said. Bloodsucker, when you combo it with Intimidate. There's also Unstoppable Force against for solo play. Could use that. That's 25 weapon damage for 5 kills. Then you have versatile if you want to swap weapon. You get multiplicative damage. Amplified, right? 10% multiplicative damage. But I kind of feel like that talent is a bit annoying. If you want to sit in cover, you have composure. Personally though, I would uh, go concussion or Vigi. Or if you actually want to have heal instead of bloodsucker, you could use clutch. And clutch is actually pretty good when you have a lot of reds. So you will heal up to 100% armor after kill pretty fast. And I used that earlier and it was actually way better than I thought. But then you should probably not use it with glass cannon. Then maybe use it with obliterate or something like that. But yeah, that this is the version I have right now. Work in progress. But I know you guys are dying to see builds. So I put together a really similar build but way easier to, to build, right? So this one is 3-piece Providence, 1-piece Grupo, and 1-piece Zeska, or how you say it, right? And then one, yeah, and one Petrov there, I think I said that. So these brand sets are pretty good because you get a lot of crit chance, a lot of crit damage on all of them, right? 15 crit damage, 10 crit chance, and then of course 10 LMG damage. So wherever you put them, it doesn't matter because every piece is the same. So you just try to get the best five pieces you get. If you have any named, as I said before, try to mix them so they work with this build. That's basically how we set it up. Really, really easy. Just get weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage everywhere on the gear. But yeah, I think that's like all the information that you guys need. As I said, when it comes to specialization, I prefer gunner. But if you want to use something else, feel free to. But in terms of your pure, but in terms of just pure damage, this is a really, really good build. I will leave you with some gameplay. I'm not sure what gameplay I'm gonna show. Maybe I try to do a little mix, because I kinda would not show a bit of the bloodsucker and just a bit of this build. But anyway, I hope this is a bit useful for you guys, so you can get started farming for a decent damage build. But keep in mind, you do a lot of damage, but you die pretty fast. But that's just kind of how it works in this new expansion. But as I always say, the best defense is an insane offense, okay? But thank you guys for watching, and yeah, have a nice day. That's why I think Obliterate would be better. Like, sure, the synergy here is nice, but... Depends. If you can be close a lot, then of course, like, it's gonna be good. Like
Like the damage is insane you get. As long as you close. Of course survivability as well. Could swap my mag though. Let's do it here. Going rogue with uh, specialization ammo, killing specialization ammo, but I use like the gear set then. I have it as well to counter those retards. Always did cheese. Oh, that sucks. Yep. What the fuck? Shit game. The rest people have care. No, I'm trying to invite Eastwood Then I'm gonna throw in scale because all of them already have nemesis I got death grips actually I don't wanna extract those Alright Can't throw in scale, what the fuck is that? You should the the common man. This is annoying. It starts reloading. I'm just gonna reload even though I have the exotic. So otherwise, I kind of expose myself. Like vaulting is the best. We can just vault. He's gonna face tank now. And what the fuck, dude? I'm dead. I'm dead. Damage, 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 damage. The fuck is that thing? Got a reload here. But he's behind a shield. He's gonna man up because he's behind his shield. Oh, you stuck now, though. Oh, dude, melted shield. Yeah, I can't shoot when I just put 5,000 bullets in, dude. They're already spawning. It's spawn camped. Oh, we got a clutch backpack. Okay, we want to try that then. We didn't do it yet. Last time. Fuck sitting in cover, dude. Match with the fifty dollars, dude. Why not be top donor? It's either. Why not be top donator? It's easy. Balling on chat. We're gonna match me. Hey. Match with the big dick. The big balls. The big D. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much, dude. Get some love in the chat, guys. We like kind of stopped doing that. Before, every time somebody would like donate, there would always be like a wall of hearts in chat, man. What happened to that? What happened with the love, man? Did we stop loving each other? <laughs> oh, these exotic knee pads are. Really nice. I still want to overlord knee pads for more damage, but I feel like damage seems not a pro like a problem for this. Like this. Shoop. It's a good talent. It's actually a good job on this talent. I gave them that.
I want crit. Okay, wanna see some melting damage? Have concussion up. Where's my aim going? Stand still. Thanks. That was pretty bad. Like I made so many bullets, dude. Explosive res. Everything so far with expansion. Just new stuff to do. Honestly. As I say, like, I'm not a big fan of Gear 2.0. I understand why it's here, but to me, it's a bit too simplified. Supply room access. But still, like, just farming stuff. God roll AK. Actually, God roll, dude. It has strained. Strain is really good since crit is so strong. Like 50 crit damage? I don't know, I feel like it's too strong. The talent. Too much. <laughs> 